Hello again guys, long time no see. Might not seem like a long time because I literally just put out a video, but I haven't really filmed anything in like a week since I had my LASIK done. Until I got a message from my buddy TK last night saying, hey Jordan, when's your next video coming out? We need you to turn the camera on and shoot some videos, please. And I'm gonna try to get back to doing two to three videos a week. It's just been kind of hard, motivationally lately. So I'm working on that. So today, quick and easy video. It's been about a month since I've done one of these, but the collector's case arrived. The only thing I know about this case is it has Anthony Mackie related things in it. So Marvel Avengers type stuff, I guess. Let's check it out. And there we go. Alrighty, I'm peeking, I'm looking ahead a little bit and I see things that I like. Strangely enough, I'm not seeing a t-shirt, but I'm kind of okay with that. On top though, it's a beanie. And it's actually a beanie that has the little flap on the front, kind of like a cap. Looks to be a Punisher beanie. It says one man army. Not really gonna fit with my normal look, but that's pretty slick. Yeah, that definitely doesn't suit me, but maybe if I have a big giant coat on and I'm trying to stay warm, it'll do, I'm sure. Moving right along. Now everything's staticky. We've got a magnet. Ooh, and it's kind of a shiny reflective magnet. Yeah, I think everything that I can see at this point is Marvel. So I'm guessing this entire box is just a Marvel box. I'm okay with that, but there you go, Spider-Man magnet. We will stick this to the fridge. There's a Marvel Series 1 collector key ring. With lots of recognizable figures on there. Ah, oh, that is cool. So it's a Rocket Raccoon collectible keychain. Lots of great detail on Rocket there. So if you're needing something for your keychain, this is definitely awesome. You got what looks to be a lanyard in here with an ID card holder on the other end. It says Iron Man 3 lanyard from the Avengers. All kinds of Iron Man stuff all over the lanyard itself. Not not sure what this would be useful for. Maybe for work, but my badge for work is something I just put on my pocket. Skip around a little bit. I see a pack of cards. Spider-Man Homecoming, eight cards per pack. Look for actor autographs and original art sketch cards. These are always a bit of a mixed bag for me, but we've got Spider-Man the Vulture kicks Spider-Man into a truck. We've got elsewhere, Happy Hogan supervises the moving of machinery, homemade goggles. Ooh, and the back of this one is really cool. Peter, who's secretly Spider-Man, steps into the hallways of Midtown School of Science and Tech. I think I'm looking at these from the wrong angle, but that's fine. Matt Gargan is a crime boss not to be approached lightly. Michael Madu. And as punishment, the vulture vaporizes Bryce. So nothing really jumping out at me from that. That's fine. We've got another Marvel Dorbs Iron Man Mark I vinyl collectible. So it's a Funko Pop, but it's one of the much smaller, adorable sized ones. An X-Men Wolverine Wacky Wobbler Bobblehead. That is very cool. And actually, I think, I, yeah, I've got a Spider-Man Wacky Wobbler Bobblehead from a previous box, so this will go very well right next to him. This I am extraordinarily excited about because I definitely have a lot of fondness for Deadpool. We have a Marvel Bleacher Creature of Deadpool. Looks like in shipping the swords got a little messed up, but they're not damaged. They're just kind of folded up. We can fix that. Still, that's a really cool little addition to have. And the last thing that I see in the box is the collector's case manila envelope, as it were. So that's interesting. Inside the little folio here, it says it should have been a Funko Iron Man wacky wobbler, but instead, for whatever reason, I got Wolverine. I'm very okay with that. All the rest of it seems pretty straightforward. The 10-inch plush, it could have been Deadpool, Venom, or Star-Lord. Definitely very happy it was Deadpool. And the autograph for this month's case could have been Anthony Mackie. I'm very okay with not getting that one. However, taking a look at next month's box, February is gonna be featuring Stranger Things. Really looking forward to taking a look at next month's box. And March is featuring Charlie Cox from Daredevil. I actually haven't watched the Daredevil Netflix series yet. I tried. I only made it a couple of episodes in and just couldn't. I'll have to come back to it when I have time. But yeah, that is about all there is to it. All in all, as you can kind of see here, a lot of fun and actually somewhat practical items. A bunch of new toys to put on the toy shelf. So this was a pretty cool box. If you're interested in checking out the collector's case for yourself, this is a monthly subscription box that you can sign up for. I think the price is $25 if I remember correctly. And every month you have the chance to receive something that'll have an autographed 8x10 from a celebrity. I've gotten one or two in the past. So if you're interested in it, I will have a link down in the video description. But thanks so much to the collector's case for continuing to send these boxes out. Please send the February box because Stranger Things is so, so good. Hit the thumbs up button down below if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. There will be more coming. I'm getting back to myself, feeling more myself, getting over the LASIK and getting over my holiday funk as it were. We'll see you again very soon.